Am I autistic? About language. Written by Sonia Bue. Narrated by Zoe Connell. All of the links for this chapter can be found in the description section on this YouTube page. When it comes to identity, the golden rule about language is that it's a personal choice. It's entirely up to you. It's also good practice to respect the choices of others, even when we disagree. While some of us feel it's important, not everyone is interested in language or feels that it impacts their lives. Language about autism is complex, evolving and the subject of much disagreement. Autistic identity is both personal and a social justice issue, and there is a lot to unpack. Knowing more about the language will help you understand the deeper issues and work out how you choose to define yourself. Knowing about language can also help you avoid triggering or otherwise unhelpful situations. Understanding subtle differences in the language could help you work out whether a group, organisation or situation may not be for you. Ableism Ableism is discrimination and social prejudice against disabled people both in words and actions, ranging from social exclusion to social injustice. Among the many harms of ableism, it has often manifests the belief that disabled people are lesser than non-disabled people, including the assumption that we are broken. Ableist attitudes include stereotypical generalisations using the language of disability as a slur. Autism communities versus autistic communities. Autism communities are usually groups, organisations and services for autistic people. They are usually not organised or led by autistic people. Autistic communities are organised and led by autistic people. This language difference can be coded and relates to the issue of person-first language versus identity-first language. The rise of autistic advocacy has challenged the previous status quo. Disagreements about language centre on how autism is perceived and whether our agency and rights are respected. The two links provided below give a deeper insight into the issue from autistic perspectives. Link 1. Neuroclastic Collective Blog Post. The difference between the autism community and the autistic community. Link 2. Neurodivergent Rebel Short Video. The difference between the autism community and the autistic community. Autistic versus with autism. Discovering that you are autistic is often a process of learning and unlearning, which can include language. I've included a link to my own reflections about this written back in 2017. Person first language. Autism communities have tended to use person first language, namely to say, that a child or a person has autism, or that they are a child or person with autism. Some individuals also adopt this language about themselves. Identity first language. Autistic communities use identity first language, which means we say that we are autistic because autism is the core of our identity. Link three. The National Autistic Society has updated guidance on how to talk and write about autism. Link 4. Dr. Chloe Faraha has created a 15-minute video about why identity-first language is a social justice issue. Link 5. The Sound of Stigma, A Journey Across the Rope Bridge, is a blog post by Sonia Bue. Discovery and Identification Discovery and identification are options for describing the process of finding out that you are autistic without using medical language. I credit American artist and researcher Dr. Annette Foster with introducing me to the term discovery, which can be used in place of diagnosis. Such alternatives are helpful for those who feel the term diagnosis pathologizes autistic identity. To pathologize means to treat something as medically abnormal. Neurodiversity. The language about neurodiversity can be quite confusing. Here we will unpick the subtle differences between words that sound extremely alike. Neurodiversity paradigm. The term originates from the work of autistic rights advocates, but the neurodiversity paradigm is not a movement in itself. 
The neurodiversity paradigm is inspired by the concept of biodiversity. Neuro is Latin for nerve, used to refer to the brain and its cognitive functions, including thinking styles. Diversity simply means variety. Combining these words has allowed us to think about neurological difference as a diversity of minds, essential to the survival of humanity as a whole. Link 6. Toward a Neuroqueer Future. An interview with Nick Walker. Neurodiversity movement. This term describes a global political and social justice movement which seeks to shift the perception and treatment of neurodivergent people away from the medical model or pathology paradigm, as referred in Link 6. Neurodivergence. A term used to describe a natural variety of minds and brain functioning which differ from the majority or so-called norm. Neurodivergence therefore means thinking and experiencing the world differently. Neurodivergence does not relate exclusively to autism. It includes a range of profiles which can be inherited, acquired and or mental health related. Neurodivergent a term used for individuals whose brain function and thinking style differs from the majority or so-called norm. Neurodiverse. This refers to a mixed group of neurodivergent and neurotypical people. Neurodiverse also applies to the human species as a whole. Therefore, individuals are not neurodiverse, but the term is often misused in this way. Neurotypical. This refers to people who are not neurodivergent. Some people also use the term neuromajority. The following three links are key resources relating to the history, facts and language of autism and neurodiversity. Link 7. A Neurodiversity Facts and Myths Primer is an article by Shannon de Roches Rosa. Link 8. Neurodiversity. Some Basic Terms and Definitions by Dr. Nick Walker Link 9 Neurotribes The Legacy of Autism and How to Think Smarter About People Who Think Differently by Steve Silberman Gives a detailed history of autism and the neurodiversity movement Spectrum and On the Spectrum On the Spectrum Considered an advance in its time this phrase has become associated with the myth that everyone is a little bit autistic, which is unhelpful to understanding autism. It's also associated with the use of high-functioning and low-functioning labels, which are now considered ableist. In a recent Twitter call-out, as part of my research for this booklet, I found the overwhelming majority of autistic people who responded, disliked, and often strongly objected to this term. Some autistic people liked it and felt comfortable using it, as it can make social situations easier to manage. Personal preference is all. With thanks to funders, Arts Council England, the National Lottery Community Fund and Esme Fairburn. Copyright Bomb, Birmingham Open Media and the author, Sonia Bowie. www.bomb.org dot uk